The health care battle, as you know, is heating up in the Keystone State. Protesters made their voices heard at a town hall last week held by Senator Arlen Specter and Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. So should Democrats keep holding these town hall meetings? Are they helping or hurting their cause? Representative Joe Sestak plans to challenge Senator Specter for his seat in the upcoming Senate elections, and he joins us now. Good morning to you, Congressman. Good morning. Good to be here. All right. Well, let's start with this question. Uh, first of all, we asked this in the intro, which is, are we being constructive in these town hall debates? Are With all of these disruptions that are taking place, this outrage that we're seeing from people, when you're holding these town hall debates, are we getting anything accomplished? Are we furthering the discussion? Is that why we're seeing so many Democrats m maybe scared or canceling these town hall debates? <laughs> Well, you know, I've only been in politics three years, but we just added in a new town hall this coming Wednesday right here in center town, uh, downtown Philadelphia at the Broad Street Ministry at 630 this Wednesday night. And I had my first last Saturday, the day after we got out from Congress. That one brought about 300 people together. And it was very harsh at times where the comments were. But I think this is a necessary debate. First, I'm a public servant. I work for these people. Second, people have a high level of anxiety. How can they not? They're in a savage in recession. And, they, and third, I don't think we've done an adequate enough job of explaining the goodness of this bill. So I, I like these town halls, and I, and I cherish them, actually. Congressman, why do you think the disparity between the protesters portrayed as an angry mob and these congressmen, in some cases, being labeled as, as almost victims in this case, why the strange disparity between the two groups? I think because people were shocked initially at the harshness of the outburst. But I've been very fortunate. In July, I took a trip through all 67 counties of Pennsylvania just prior to getting in the race against Arlen Specter. And I saw, even among Democrats, a very high level of anxiety. And again, I think it's because down in Washington, D.C., we tend to think, well, if we're talking to one, one another, it must be all right. This is why it's important to have these. People are upset. Uh, do some of them come together a little more organized than elsewhere? Sure. But that's America. And these types of debates have happened before. This bill is so important to the future that we should be having tough debates and everyone should be out there asking to do town halls, not backing down. But Congressman, just how organized an effort do you think this is? Because Senator Tom Harkin of Iowa said yesterday that he thinks that this outrage is being um, organized on some level by Republican groups. Do you agree? I, there is some organization, but on the, I think this is both Democrats and Republicans who have justified questions and want to know what's going on. Rep Representative Sestak in the great city of Philadelphia, always nice to see you. Thanks so <laughs> Thanks, much. Thanks, Congressman. Thanks, Congressman. Good to be Pleasure. back. All Thank right, you. Coming up, new numbers.